Connecting your domain to your website is one of the most important steps to getting it live. I'm Brian from Product and Network Solutions, and I'm here to show you how to do that using our AI website builder. So now I'm gonna walk you through how to connect your domain to your website on Network Solutions. Uh, so first, if you are connecting to a domain that lives outside of Network Solutions, there's a separate process for that that we're gonna cover on a different video or a, a different knowledge base article. So stay tuned for that. If you bought the domain as part of the, the website, if you bought them both together in the same purchase process, then good news, um, we've already linked them together. And when you're in the, the website builder and you go to publish, it will be there as, uh, as an option for you to publish to. Uh, and then finally, if you bought them separately and you have your, your domain and network solutions and uh, you purchased the website separately, I'm gonna walk you through the process now for how to connect and point that domain to your, your new website so that when you go into the website builder, you can easily publish to that domain. So to do that, and I just logged into uh, network solutions here, I'm gonna to go to domains and then I'm gonna find the domain that I want to use to, uh, to point and connect to my website. In this case, it's the first one here. I click on, on that domain and then I simply look at this domain connections area. If I open this up, I can easily connect this domain to a website. So I will click on this connect website and then the websites that I have available to me that I purchased on this account will show up here. So I will, click on the checkbox next to the one that I want to connect it to and simply click connect. This is just confirming that sometimes it takes a little bit of time for that connection to take place. So don't worry, it's normal. It, it just, you know, things just take a little bit of time sometimes to get all the pointing right. Just a reminder there so that just in case you go and you refresh and it doesn't show up as an option to publish to right away that you're not concerned about it. So you might need to give it a little bit of time. To be honest, it rarely takes 24 to 48 hours, but just, just so you know, it might take a little bit of time. And then clicking connect. So now let's take that domain that you purchased separately from your website and point it to your new website so you can publish there. To do that, you simply click on domains in the side navigation here. You'll see the list of the domains that you have on this account. And I'm gonna click and choose this one to use for my website. Um, once you land here, you simply open up this domain connections area. And this is where it's gonna show you, you know, where you've connected that domain, whether it be email, hosting, or your website. To connect it to a website, uh, you click on connect website, and then it'll give you the list of websites you have available on this account. Uh, I'm gonna connect this domain to this website here. So I check this checkbox, I click connect, this is just a, a reminder that sometimes it takes a little bit of time to do the domain pointing. It, in my experience, it, takes, it rarely takes 24 to 48 hours, but this is more just to, to make sure that you realize that it may, it's probably not gonna be an instantaneous process that you might need to refresh a few times and wait for it to do that connection before it shows up as a publish option within your website builder. So once I click that and I click connect, then you'll get the message, hey, we've successfully received your request to connect it an existing service. And then behind the scenes now, it's doing that, uh, that connection process. So you can see here in this connected services area that it's in a processing state you know, for connecting to my e-commerce website. Okay, so we've waited now about 30 seconds and then I've refreshed. And then as you can see, the uh, e-commerce website that I have that I pointed this domain to is now connected and listed as one of the connected services within the domain detail screen here, which means it's now available as a URL, as a domain for me to publish my website to when I go to publish my website. Uh, now to do that, I simply click on the website's item in the navigation here. You'll actually see that the, the domain that I pointed to the website is showing up as associated with that website. If I launch the builder, for the website, it will then give me the the option to publish to that that you that domain to that URL now as part of editing the website. And you can see uh, it, it knows we just did this, so it's actually asking me right away, "Hey, do you do you want to publish now that you've made this connection? Are you ready to publish?" I'm actually I'm not going to do it quite yet because I'm going to show you how to do it within the builder itself. So I'm going to X out of this. We're in the builder editor. So once we're in the editor here to 
to publish this website to your new domain or to the domain that you connected, you simply click on this publish button up here in the header, which will then give you the option to publish to any of the, the domains that you have connected to this website. So you'll see the one that I just connected as the default here. And to publish to that, I simply click the publish button and it will take the website that I've built and publish it to that domain. We also give you a placeholder domain. So before you connect a, a custom domain to it, or if you want to publish to this placeholder, just to see what the website looks like before you publish it to your new custom domain, uh, you can do that. So this that domain is available in here as well as one of the options in case you want to you know, do that first and uh, get a sense for what the website's gonna look like. But in this case, I'm ready to go. We connected the domain. I wanna publish to that domain. I click the publish button and then it'll take a few seconds here just because it just takes a little bit of time in order to package it all together and you know push it to the right places so that when people visit that URL, then they're gonna see the website that you just built using our AI website builder. All right, and it's published. I can click on open website here and it will take me to that URL. And voila, you know, we see the, the website that I just built you know, freshly published to this domain that I just connected to, to this website. So what if you see something that's not quite right and you wanna publish? So to do that, you simply go back to the site editor and you can close this window here. Up here in the navigation, it'll show you that you published and the domain that you published to. You click on this drop down button here and you click unpublish. And by confirming that, then it will take the website back down so that you know, for any reason, if you wanted to make changes or it wasn't ready or, or for really any reason, you can unpublish it from that, from that domain really, really easily uh, and then republish you know, whenever you feel like you are ready to, to you know, have it back live on that URL.